Welcome to this mapping video on editing unrecognized locations. You can download the exercise workbook to follow along in your own copy of Tableau. By default, when we double-click on a geographic field, Tableau will plot it on a map. In this dataset, however, double-clicking city ends up with a lot of unknowns. That's because there are many cities which could be in one or more countries. For example, there's an Aberdeen in Scotland, Sierra Leone, South Africa, and that's just S countries. To resolve this, we simply need to add state and country to the view. It's as easy as bringing these fields to the level of detail shelf. If there is a hierarchy in the data pane, Tableau will automatically use the appropriate levels of the hierarchy to solve ambiguities. Note, we only brought in state, but it automatically brought in country as well. Now the map has access to the additional information of state and country, as well as the city's name, and it can correctly map the cities in their appropriate locations. As a takeaway, if there are ambiguous values, such as multiple cities with the same name, try adding the next higher level of the geographic hierarchy to the map. Sometimes, however, these unknown locations can be prompted because there's a misspelling or some other issue. Here we have eight unknowns. We could right-click and hide the indicator, or when we click on the indicator, we're presented with several options. Edit the locations, filter the data, or show the data at a default position. We don't want to ignore any cities where we have data, so let's edit the locations. This dialog box is really powerful. Let's work our way through it. The first option is country. This can default to whatever the physical computer's country is, like mine did at first, assuming all the cities were in the US. If we don't want to bring our country field to the level of detail shelf, and we haven't built a hierarchy, an alternative is to come here and tell Tableau to take the country for each city from a specific field. And we could do the same for state. However, we still have some issues. If we're on the State tab, we see an unrecognized value. Due to the 2014-2015 territorial reforms in France, Aubergine is no longer recognized. We can click in the box and start typing the correct place name. And we'll select the correct option. Fixing this State issue corrected most of our cities, but we still have two issues. For one, there's a spelling mistake. Fortunately, I know that Philadelphia has only one L at the beginning. We'll do the same thing. Let's click and start typing the correct spelling. There it is, Philadelphia. For our final error, we have Tangerang listed as unrecognized. If our data set has a location that isn't in Tableau's database, such as this city, but it's not worth doing full custom geocoding, we could simply come here and enter the latitude and longitude for that city. Now all the locations have been appropriately edited to reflect the underlying data. It's possible to get to that dialog box by going to the Map menu and choosing Edit Locations. Thank you for watching this mapping training video. We invite you to continue with the free training videos to learn more about using Tableau.